Um, it's from, from page 247. Uh, 247, okay, now it's 247. The question is, uh, who is the founding father of Neo Orthodoxy? The father of Neo Orthodoxy. To begin here with Revelation 1 9. I'll start with verse, uh, verse 8, Revelation chapter 1. I am Alpha and Omega, the beginning and the ending, saith the Lord, which is and which was and which is to come, the Almighty. I, John, who also am your brother and companion in tribulation and the kingdom and patience of Jesus Christ, was in the isle that is called Patmos, for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ. Dr. McIntyre has this part of this verse in the back of it, and if you walk into his, the vestibule, the lobby of the church, in the foyer area of back where you they have these words written on the wall, on the wall for the word of God and for the testimony of Jesus Christ and inside the main auditorium up on the wall behind where the, the, the behind the choir in other words, be separate. So, uh, Dr. Wang, what was the answer that you came up with for uh, this question? Carl Barth. Carl Barth. That's right. Carl Barth, he was the father of New Orthodoxy. Any questions or comments from the last uh, Daniel? Yes. Yeah. Uh, can you uh, clarify the uh, eschatology and the soteriology of um, the Methodist Church? The uh, soteriology, they, 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 the soteriology, which is the doctrine of salvation, they, they lean somewhat towards the Wesleyan view. So segments of the Methodist Church would lean Armenian. Not necessarily all segments of it. I don't believe uh, John McKnight, who is the who is the uh, pastor of the this or the director or the president of this Methodist fundamental denomination, is a. Uh, is uh, Armenian in the sense of lack of eternal security. But within the United Methodist Church as a whole, that denomination, they, they are very segments of that denomination believe in the social gospel and perhaps uh, even salvation by works. But, it, but it's fragmented. Does some some parts support some parts doesn't? Yes, that's correct. Mm -hmm. So it's not it's not they don't have a uniform 
view on that, that Daniel? 不是，就是说同意的哈，就是说每一个教会主教。Did you have a second question? Or、uh, eschatology? Eschatology, okay. The Methodist、um, eschatology.、Uh, I suspect most of them. Would, I, I don't. I'm not certain if their list of the fundamental Methodists would be. But I'm not sure about if the other ones、uh, have a position on that or not. 那么其他的有没有那个呃呃相信这样，我就不确定。嗯，对。I have a question. Sure. 你你问完了没有？完了。啊 ，I have a question. Ah, that was earlier. Okay. Ah, you're talking about this um this uh ah. I can't even find the page. I think it, the、um, International Mission Board of、uh, the McIntyre.、Uh, the IBPFM. I, yes, yes, yes. Where is that? Page three one eight. Three one eight. Okay.、Um, because I think the,、uh, the you you mentioned a person that you say the the, the, the mission sent to China、uh, may not all、uh, be. The, uh, the, 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 their belief may not be all、uh, correct. That's yes, that's correct.、Mm-hmm. And you, you mentioned the person. It, was that the, the Pearl Pearl Buck? Pearl Buck, yes. Pearl Buck, okay.、Oh, Pearl, Pearl Buck is、yeah. taken to.、Oh. That's what I want to ask. Is that Pearl Buck that you mentioned? Pearl Buck, that's what I said. Yes,、oh, Pearl Buck is taken to. Oh, that's it. Taken to, I think maybe someone will know. Okay, very famous Pearl Buck. What does it? What does it? You remember about Pearl Buck yourself? She wrote. Yeah, she wrote a lot of books, right? She did. Yes, that's right.、Mm-hmm. She won. She won a prize for writing a book. A book, particular book. She wrote a lot of books, right? She did. Yes, that's right. She won. She won a prize for writing a book. A particular book. She wrote a lot of books, right? She did. Yes, that's right. She won. She won a prize for writing a book. A particular book. She wrote a lot of books, right? She did. Yes, that's right. She won. She won a prize for writing a book. A particular book. She wrote a lot of books, right? She did. Yes, that's right. She won. She won a prize for writing a book. Or so three hours from here. But I forgot what's there. So she, she's actually the, is not safe, or she's not. What what the what, what's wrong with her mom? But she was she was a modernist missionary. Ah, is a Methodist, but she's not from the modern generation. And she was just one of many modernist missionaries. So there are many other people, there are other people, not just her. There are many Methodists. I mean, Methodists. So we、we'll、continue on with the Bible Presbyterian controversies. Now we enter the 323 page, ah, talking about the Bible Presbyterian controversies. In、uh, 1937, there was a there was a split. This is the OPC, ah, the Presbyterian 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 Presbyterian. McIntyre, Buswell, and Allen, McRae. This McIntyre, ah. Let a group out of the Orthodox Presbyterian Church. He just left the Orthodox Presbyterian Church. And this is actually before it was called the Orthodox Presbyterian Church. Ah, is in that that Presbyterian. But it would become Orthodox Presbyterian Church the following year. 就是接下去那一年 And they established the Bible Presbyterian Church. The denomination. And they also established Faith Theological Seminary. There were four trustees from Westminster that, that joined the、uh, BPC. This Westminster, this seminary, is the four trustees. They joined the BPC. The chairman of the faculty was Alan. McRae, okay. Uh, 院长呢是那个 Alan McRae. And Carl McIntyre was the president of Faith Theological Seminary. 这个呃 McIntyre 是那个信心神学院的那个呃呃那个院长。The early board members of、uh, Faith Seminary were David Edward Fuller, which we mentioned previously. 那么以前我们有啊讲过这这些的人物。Of Wealthy Street Baptist Church in Grand Rapids. 是在 Grand Rapids 的这个呃牧师 David Otis Fuller。This was also the previous pastor was Ben Osdell。还有啊 Osdell。And also、uh, on the board was William McCarroll。啊，还有那个呃、uh, William McCarroll。From Cicero Bible Church in Cicero, Illinois。是在伊利诺州的那个啊、uh, 牧师。
William uh, McCarroll was established the Independent Fundamental Churches of America. McCarroll is uh, 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 known as the, the IFCA. IFCA. The BPC from the very beginning was willing to uh, work with fundamentalists from all denominations. Well, still maintaining its denominational identity. Three major issues that, that caused division between the OPC and the BPC. Again, OPC is Orthodox Presbyterian Church. And BPC is Bible Presbyterian Church. Remissions. Christian liberty. And eschatology. The mission aid, the, the BPC wanted to use the, the proper, this independent board. OPC did not. OPC The OPC thought it was okay to smoke and drink. OPC Let me repeat that again. Maybe I said that wrong. OPC thought it was okay. To drink and to smoke. They they said there's no problem with that. Each Christian can decide whether they want to drink and smoke. The BPC said drinking and smoking should not be part of a Christian's lifestyle. As far as eschatology, the, the OPC had a mixture of pre-mills and post-mills and on-mills. And the BPC was just pre-mill. The Bible Presbyterian Church started with 14 pastors and three elders. And Carl McIntyre was the dominant figure within the denomination. The, the periodical for the denomination was the Christian Beacon. It first uh, began uh, in a building on Haddon Avenue. Uh, but they moved down the block away in Irvine Avenue. And it was a newspaper. It wasn't in a magazine style, it was in a newspaper style. The first of was circulated throughout the world and the country. In 1941, there was an answer to the NCC, the National Council of Christian Churches. And that answer was the American Council of Christian Churches. Just as the the answer to the NCC was the ACCC. We also have an answer to the World Council of Christian Churches. Which was the International Council of Christian Churches. And that began in 1948. Back there established Shelton College and Highland College. And in 1955, established the 20th Century Reformation Hour. It was a radio ministry. Radio ministry expanded. 
was on hundreds of stations across the United States. He started a Christian conference retreat at the, in Cape May, New Jersey. New Jersey Cape May, there was a very popular figure throughout the nation and the world. There were all different types of problems from small problems to big problems within the, within the ministry at the different colleges and so forth in the, in the, in the Southern College and the Christian Admiral. There were different types of uh, men that came to help and with the ministry. Uh, there were some opposition that McIntyre uh, received from men by the name of Rayburn, Buzzwall, and Harris. These were some men who helped them in the schools. They were, were concerned against his militant stand against communism. Modernism. And ecumenism. ecumenism. You have to be cautious about these things. In your ministry. If the cautious of modernism, ecumenism. Certainly they should be concerned about communism. And so we had a split in 1956. It was over who would control the agencies. And the question was, you know, what extent should the church be involved in national politics? To what extent should one practice ecclesiastical separation? Clearly there, clearly, there must be a, a balance between all these things. But, but clearly, you have to practice ecclesiastical separation. You have to practice personal separation. And so in, in 1961, we had a fragmented group being established because of their concern about ecclesiastical separation and because of national politics involvement. The name of that group was the Evangelical Presbyterian Church. And they're willing to accept anybody that has any position about eschatology. And the EPC, that's the Evangelical Presbyterian Church, their, their city controls coming to college. And coming to theological seminary. Then we had a merger in 1965. Of the EPC and the Reformed Presbyterian Church in North America. Resulting in the new name Reform Presbyterian Church Evangelical Synod. Then in nineteen eighty-three emerged with another group. Emerged with the Presbyterian Church in the Presbyterian Church in America. And then the Southern Presbyterian Church in the USA pulled out of the PCA in 1973. 
So going back to 1971 with Faith Seminary, we have Alan McRae. He left with most of the student body and established biblical school of theology in Hatfield, Pennsylvania. He taught a faith seminary before he went to biblical school of theology. Biblical school of theology. And he did not want to associate with fundamentalism. McIntyre was uh, removed from the American Council Executive Committee in 1968. In 1970, uh, McIntyre attempted to uh, take over a devotional meeting and turn it into a business meeting at the American Council of Christian Churches. And so this became a big, a big mess and a big problem. As he came into a, a non-business session of the council meeting, and they were really at kind of at a recess in a non-business session, and they, he took over and he, tried to, he appointed himself the president, so there was a big problem and the bank had to freeze the assets. Uh, the, the McIntyre was ordered to ordered to uh, stop using the ACC name for themselves. And then McIntyre established the new new group called the American Christian Action Council (ACAC). Now the World Congress on Fundamentalism. Was going to commemorate the 100th anniversary of the of the of the Bible movement. And McIntyre was opposed to it. Even though uh, Bob Jones and Ian Paisley were in favor of it. Now, Faith Seminary has split, another split in 1982. They left over eschatology and over administrative problems. And they went and formed Western Reform, Western Reform Seminary in Tacoma, Washington. Washington, Tacoma, in 1994, some said there was some type of cover-up within the ICCC on the mission field of Kenya and Korea. In 1984, uh, 有发生一些的事情, in 1984, Glenn Rogers became the moderator of the ICCC. Uh, 后来呢, 就这个, Glenn Rogers, 他就变成那个, uh, moderator. Now the, the story of the Bible Presbyterian Church continues on. 这个事情, uh, with things that are not necessarily supplemented in, in this, that are not contained in the book. Things that happened after after the book was printed. Dr. McIntyre is now with the Lord. He's buried in the cemetery in Camden, New Jersey. Camden, New Jersey. Same cemetery where my, my brother's buried. The same cemetery that 
poet Walt Whitman is buried. Ah, this is very, ah, that, ah, that, ah, teacher, not teacher, ah, teacher, ah. But about five years prior to his death, he, ah, not yet passed, ah, five years ago, he established another Bible Presbyterian church called Faith Bible Presbyterian Church. He established another Bible Presbyterian church called Faith Bible Presbyterian Church. The church uh, he was pastoring that he they established uh, back in '38. Uh, there were some problems and some miscommunication, and I don't know all the details. But what I, what I do know is he established a different another church. First starting in his home, and then and purchasing an old an old 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 church building. On Nicholson Road. Ah, in that Nicholson, ah, that that route. And pastor that probably close to the the rest of his life. 就是说他啊，就是呃，在这个教会服侍到啊，他被接种。But Magadair was a strong influence in America, American Bible Presbyterian Church. 啊，他这是在那个圣经的那个长老会呢，他有很大的那个啊影响力啊，这个 Magadair. In northern Northern Ireland, we have Ian Paisley. 在那个 Ireland 有 Paisley 这这个人。We have Ian Paisley, Carl Magadair, and And Bob Jones, all three of these men have very strong personalities. Bob Jones, Jr. I mean, Bob Jones III has a strong personality too. But Bob Jones Jr., Mac Carl McIntyre, and Ian Paisley are more or less contemporary one with the other. And Ian Paisley, always as you know, he's the he's the pastor of Martyrs Memorial Free Presbyterian Church in Northern Ireland. He's in Ireland's that pastor, Ian Paisley. It's possible he may be the emeritus pastor by now. I'm not positive. But on page 331, uh, it, began, it began in Northern Ireland. The Free Presbyterian Church. His father was a Baptist pastor. This is Ian Paisley's father. This is Ian Paisley's father. Paisley lives. They live. We're talking about Great Britain and over Europe now. Is in that in England, in Europe, in these places. And his father separated from the Baptist Union of Great Britain and Ireland. He was left in England. In 1935. And Kyle Paisley was an independent fundamental leader in the Northern Ireland and in the United Kingdom. Now we have two prominent names we've been talking about this week that preached over there at Kyle Paisley's church. And again, Kyle Paisley is the father of Ian Paisley. We have J. Frank Norris, Norris. and T. T. Shields, both of them preaching at, and also uh, Shields preaching Shield. at this church in Ballymania. Now, when Ian, my brother, when Kyle Paisley retired, the the church uh, changed its name to the Ian Paisley Memorial Free Presbyterian Church. 他后来就啊，这个教会呢就改名字，就说是啊 ，Kyle 啊 ，Paisley 的那个纪念的这个长老会的呃、啊、这个名字哈。And this is one of the largest churches in the denomination of Free Presbyterians。就是在那个呃、啊、英国和 Ireland 的这个最大的那个啊自由的那个啊长老。So Paisley's father was a separatist。他这个 Kyle 呃、啊、这个父亲呢是呃、啊、是呃、啊、有分别出来的。His mother led him to the Lord at age six. He was six years old when his mother took him to the Lord. He began preaching in his teens. In the mission hall, that was nearby. He began preaching in the mission hall. 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 Uh, 
And when they outgrew that church, they moved the building to uh, the Whitfield College of the Bible. Ian Paisley attended Bury School of Evangelism in South Wales. And the Theological Hall of the Reformed Presbyterian Church of Ireland. Moderator of the convention was J.E. Davy. And as far as responding to modernism, uh, they established the Irish Evangelical Church, also known as the Evangelical Presbyterian Church. And this uh, church, uh, new church that was established called the Ian Paisley as the pastor. And Paisley was ordained to the gospel ministry by the Raven Hill Evangelical Church. Now, over the course of time, Paisley lost half of his congregation because of his strong preaching style. Raven Hill changed its name eventually to the Martyrs Memorial Free Presbyterian Church. And during a protest in 1966, uh, Paisley and company had secured permits to protest and pick at the General Assembly. Paisley had the proper permits to protest. However, the police had set up a roadblock. To pass by. The roadblock was, was, would, permit that, would forbid them from passing by. But what happened was, another group came who did not have a pro permit. And they passed by. Which didn't seem to be very fair. But uh, Paisley's group was told they had a permit to march and not to congregate. So consequently, he and another pastor, John Wiley, and uh, John Ivan Foster, were in prison. Now, the Prime Minister, the Irish Prime Minister, O'Neill, he wanted to be able to unite Ireland with the, by using the ecumenical movement. And O'Neill said, you know, if you be quiet, We'll, we'll drop the charges and you, you can be released. But, but Paisley and, and, and Foster and Wiley didn't want to be quiet, so they stayed. For three months in prison. And while in prison, Dr. Paisley wrote a commentary in the Book of Romans. Using just a concordance and his Bible. During this time in prison, Bob Jones University conferred upon him an honorary degree. And uh, there were four differences uh, that the IRA was using to try to divide Ireland, the English Republic Army, the IRA. The Irish Republican Army, I'm sorry. IRA. They wanted to divide it over history. Culture. Religion. And economics. Now in 1895, 
the Irish Anglo Accord granted the Irish Republic a limited voice in Northern Ireland. Now, Ian Paisley himself uh, formed a political party. Called the Democratic Unionist Party. Which soon became a dominant force in Ulster politics. In 1970, Paisley was elected to the Northern Ireland Par Parliament. Taking the former seat of O'Neill. O'Neill, that guy that wanted him to keep quiet for six months. And shortly after winning the seat in the Northern Ireland Parliament, he won a seat in the British Parliament. And this is, this is supplemental to the book. But while he was there in the English Parliament, uh, one of, during one of his terms, uh, the, the Bishop of Rome paid a visit to Parliament. And uh, he had some posters in his pocket. That was written the Pope's the Antichrist. <laughs> and so he, 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 would, he would shout out the Antichrist, and he would hold one poster up, and would turn away from it, and he'd pull another poster in his pocket. <laughs> now, in the election of 1979, <laughs> To the British Parliament, he received more votes. More votes in the UK electoral history. More so, more so than any other politician. Now going back to 1951, there was another conflict he was having. Paisley was involved in many things, the politics and in, in, in the religious ministry. Yeah, he had scheduled a gospel campaign, an evangelistic campaign, but it was canceled an hour or so before it was to begin. By the liberal presbytery. So Paisley and hundreds of others were left in the rain outside the mission hall. So a large crowd they described as a high handed and dictatorial. And that's what the um, Presbyterian actions charged. But eventually they were able to find a meeting place. And 94 people uh, made professions of faith. And there was, there was a, uh, in, uh, the Presbyterian, the, the free, free Presbyterian Manifesto. And it was issued by the Cross Guard Congregation of the Free Presbyterian Church. And some of these documents are in the back of the book, which we'll look at tomorrow. And this is when they became the Free Presbyterian Church. And in 1951, there were two other churches that entered the denomination. In 1966 or 12, Dr. Paisley's uh, congregation is presently the largest. 
Presently, you have a, well, there's over 40 right now. This is back at the time the book was written. There are over 40 free Presbyterian churches. In 1981, Dr. Paisley opened Whitfield College of the Bible. And so this is the, the background and the history a little bit about the, the Free Presbyterian Church. As far as baptism is concerned, they believe in believers' baptism. They do not believe in baptism or regeneration. They allow each individual to decide the mode of baptism of which they want to receive. There was a baptismal service that I was I witnessed to that was online from a free Presbyterian church in South Carolina. The majority of uh, people being baptized were teenagers, young people. Perhaps some uh, college students, but most of them appear to be uh, high school students. And there were uh, close to a dozen of them that were baptized. And in that particular church, they were all, they all, they were all immersed. So any thoughts or questions on uh, this section? Yes, uh, Jane. Yes, I, uh, you, I didn't have time to uh, write down uh, the notes fast enough, so I, and I thought it was an interesting point. You were saying, could, could you repeat one more time uh, what their belief in baptism? Because is that the Free Presbyterian Church, um, they, they do not believe in baptism or regeneration. And for, for that matter, neither, did the, the, neither does the Bible Presbyterian Church. Baptism or regeneration is that doctrine that some denominations teach that actually the baptism saves you. For instance, the institution of Rome believes that the baptism will wash away original sin. Some brands of the Episcopal Church teach that the baptism saves you. There's other, there's other, there's other denominations that believe that teach that baptism saves you. But, but neither, neither the Bible Presbyterian Church, the Bible Presbyterian Church or the Free Presbyterian Church believes that baptism saves. So, but what they do teach and practice is they let the person be baptized, they believe in a believer's baptism. That means that when you say they believe in the believer's baptism, that means believers should be baptized. Is that what you're saying? Um, say that in Chinese, please. Yeah, he means that 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 he more and more questions that anyone has about this um, this section. I am here with you. But any sections? Yes. Uh, tomorrow, maybe tomorrow. Yeah. Uh, if you have time, then maybe if you uh, we talk about a lot of denominations, different denominations. Can you give us uh, some idea? Each domination, uh, denomination, what are their you know different positions? Just like the Presbyterian. They, uh, their organization, they got uh, elders, you know, those kind of thing. How about other denomination, you know, the Methodist or the, uh, the what, Baptist? 
Okay, so you want me to give the uh, kind of an overall structure of how they operate? Tomorrow. 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 Tomorrow
Is, uh, is, how many minutes do you need for each question you say? You I, right now, I'm going to be free. I started with five minutes, then I went to three minutes. Yes. Is, is three minutes enough or too much? Should I do two minutes? Or, uh, two minutes is too much. Two minutes is too much. Yeah, three minutes. Three minutes, okay. Yeah, I mean, this is my test. Yeah, so do, oh, you. You, 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 if you if you desire to use your notes or your book, that's okay. You can okay, not okay. yes, okay. yes, okay. yes, okay. yes, okay. For Jay, it's a closed book. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> it's very confident. <laughs> Any more questions? All right, see why. Would you um, close in prayer, please? Dear Father, thank you for uh, the couple of days past. Yeah, that uh, we know uh, where we stand in our faith and that we know what the wrongdoings of the previous, uh, of the then, uh, pre of other, church, other churches are and that we know how to, not to be like them. Just remind us and that's uh, our way home. In Jesus Christ's name, amen. 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 Amen.